the Great Migration was the widespread movement of African American families from the South to the urban cities of the North and West from about 1910 to 1970. It is known as the largest internal movement by any group in American history. African Americans migrated to the North to rebel against the racism of the South. Migrating to the North made the families who moved be able to start fresh and decide their fate. There were many causes of the want for Blacks to escape the South and migrate to Northern cities. These causes were mainly escaping the unfair economic system of the South and the racism and discrimination Blacks were met with far too often. African Americans did not have the legal right to vote in America. If they tried to, especially in the South, they were met with harsh punishments and even death. This right would not be put into law until 1945. In the South, African Americans did not have the right to work in many places. Even as free citizens, however, Southern Blacks had little or no opportunity to own land or build financial independence. Generally limited to sharecropping, jobs offered little pay for many, many hours of work. The fast-growing cities of the North offered more jobs that offered better pay, free transportation, and low-cost housing. The early 1900s were the beginning of the Industrial Revolution for the United States. When the United States entered World War I, this led to an increased demand for industrial products. Factories suffered from a labor shortage. African Americans moving to cities not only helped them escape the South, but it also helped the Northern economy by supplying many workers that kept businesses growing. Once companies got aware of this, they sent recruiters to persuade people to work in the Northern companies. Recruiters also received a fee for every recruit they provided for the company they represented. Newspapers were also used to persuade African American families to move to the North. The Chicago Defender was probably the biggest example of this. The Chicago Defender was very popular among Blacks in the South because it was one of the only brutally honest newspapers that made lynching sound like a bad thing and invited Blacks to Chicago. It was literally an advertisement to move to Chicago. It talked about how the, there was low housing prices and the different types of jobs that were available. This made the defender be banned from states in the South to keep blacks from moving. Between 1915 and 1940, Chicago's black population more than doubled. It became the most popular destination for blacks escaping the South. Nearly half of the migrants who left Mississippi, for example, went to Chicago. Racism and discrimination in the South was a leading factor towards blacks leaving. Lynching, an unfair legal system, and inequality in the workforce were the main contributing factors towards racism. This article is from the Jackson Daily News in 1919. It is an example of racism in the South. In this article, John Hartfield is to be lynched at 4 p.m. because a white woman was killed by his house miles away. It talks about how authorities were aware of this, but powerless, powerless to stop it, so they say. Also, at the end of this article, it talks about how Hartfield made a partial confession, which probably meant the police tortured him until he confessed whether he did it or not. The Great Migration was split up into two waves, each wave being heavily influenced by a world war. The first wave was from 1910 to 1940. Over 1 1.6 million African Americans left the South. They primarily headed to the cities of the Northeast, like New York or Pennsylvania, as well as Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, Baltimore, D.C., Chicago, and Cleveland. World War I was the driving force behind the first wave of the Great Migration. Families moved during the war to help the war effort, and they used the war after the people came home to start over and go north. The second wave 
was from 1940 to 1970. This wave was started by World War II. There was a massive need for additional labor in shipyards and aircraft planes. And, like the First World War, a great shortage of workers. This caused more blacks to migrate north again to help the war effort. It made the population of blacks in cities grow to the most because of the baby boom after the war. 89% of blacks lived in the South in 1910. By 1970, only 53% lived there. That is over 6 million people. As you can see on this chart, for cities on the East Coast, most migrants came from the states on the East Coast. Midwestern cities like Chicago, St. Louis, and Akron received an unusually large number of migrants from Mississippi and Alabama, states in the middle of the South. 22% of Chicago's African-American population in 1940 were migrants from Mississippi or Alabama. Even when blacks got to the North, they still faced discrimination. White people who occupied the inner cities at the time had problems with these people coming in, seemingly taking their jobs and their homes. This was the, the basis behind white flight, a time in the 1950s when white people moved out of the inner cities into suburbs. When African Americans made it to the northern cities, they brought over their culture. This sparked a flowering of African American literature and art in the 1920s, mainly in, in the Harlem district of New York City, known as the Harlem Renaissance. This brought new types of literature into the inner cities of the U.S. Ticket written by Langston Hughes is an example of the mindset behind why blacks left the South. Pick up my life and take it with me, and I put it down in Chicago, Detroit, Buffalo, Harlem, any place that is north and east and not Dixie. I pick up my life and take it on the train to Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Seattle, Oakland, Salt Lake, any place that is north and west and not south. I am fed up with Jim Crow laws, people who are cruel and afraid, who lynch and run, who are scared of me and me of them. So I pick up my life and take it away on a one-way ticket, gone up north, gone out west, gone. This is an example of jazz in the 1940s at the beginning of the Harlem Renaissance. It is known as Blues, written by Lucius Curtis in 1940. One thing that came from the Great Migration was rap. Rap is a mixture of jazz and poetry. Rap started in Brooklyn in 1979. This was depicted in the Netflix show The Get Down. This is a clip of performers at the epic center of the formation of a global cultural earthquake that was the release of Rapper's Delight by Sugar Hill Gang in the fall of 1979. Challenge fantastic, no man braver. You showed me my superpower. <laughs> Y'all, let me catch Salin's best. Salin's fantastic, nothing but class. With you and your wax style, I should wipe my ass. Nick, yeah. 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 Nick, give a dog a bone. Spank him like his daddy, and send a boy home. Side fire, now you really support. 